I am so glad to see all of you today. Let's say hi to our online friends to everybody wave at the camera back there. Hi, online friends. We're glad you're here with us too. Well, I have to tell you guys something. I learned something I did not know about squirrels this week. I think that's going to be really interesting to you. Are you ready to hear about it? OK. So I borrowed this squirrel from my dog, Gavin. So you might not want to touch it because my dog plays with it. <laughs> what do you think about when you think about squirrels, I wonder? Can you think of something? They eat nuts. They eat nuts. Yeah, what else? Dogs chase them. Dogs chase them, that is true. What else? They have a tail, yes. Those are all good things. I think about how they're fast, and they can jump a long distance, and they always seem to land on their feet, kind of like cats. I think about how they use their little tiny hands to eat and to wash. And when I think about what squirrels eat, I usually think about exactly what you said, Joe. They eat nuts. Yeah. But I learned something today that I guess And that is that squirrels also prepare for winter by climbing up. Doesn't that mean sticky? Because, like, when you carry it for hours. It's, it's not sticky. It's OK. So one of the ways that squirrels prepare for winter is by climbing up the evergreen tree, kind of like that tree, and taking the pine cones, biting their stems off so that they can take them with them. And then the squirrels gather up the pine cones, and they take them to the place where they're storing all their winter food. But something I didn't know is that pine cones have little tiny seeds inside. Did you guys know that? Yeah. They have, you knew that? Oh, my, man, you guys are smart. They have little tiny seeds inside that will last until the squirrels are ready to eat them later in the winter. So pine cones from evergreen trees definitely help squirrels. They give them something to eat. But squirrels also help evergreen trees. When the squirrels are hauling their pine cones from place to place, some of the seeds fall out. And that gives them a chance to grow in the ground. Squirrels also sometimes get tree pollen in their fur. And then when they run around, that helps the trees grow as well. So squirrels are kind of like little Christmas tree planters. I had never thought of it quite like that. Or tree, or tree growers, yeah. Our story today tells us about the prophet named John the Baptist, who helped people get ready to come so, or help people to get ready for the coming of the Lord. Prophets are people who come so close to God, and God comes so close to them that they know what God wants them to say and do. John knew that it was almost time for Jesus to come and show the people how to love, what to do, and who to be. John's job was to help people get ready. So John traveled from place to place, preaching and kind of planting seeds, not literally, but planting seeds that would help people prepare their hearts and minds for what Jesus would teach them. In some ways, he was just a little bit like a squirrel, leaving bits of news about God's love everywhere that he went. So whenever you see a Christmas tree this season, you can also be reminded of the squirrels that help plant them. And that can remind you of John the Baptist, who planted seeds in people's hearts to help them get ready for Jesus' good news. Will you pray with me? God, thank you for prophets who help us know the way. Help us to be like John the Baptist, planting seeds of your love everywhere we go. Amen.